Shalom everyone, a huge support to Rabbi Gil Eisenbach, Mashkiach uh, Ruchani here of Yeshivat Eish a senior educator here, to share some chizuk for Am Yisrael. Okay, listen, it's the day after Purim, and we still have Purim in our minds, so let me say something about Purim, okay? Listen, when Esther says to Achashverosh that the person that's trying to kill her and all of the Jewish people happens to be none other than the Ish Tsar Oyev Hamon Hara Hazeh, this evil Haman. So it's a little bit perplexing. Why doesn't Haman turn to the king and say, you know, everything that I'm planning, I, I talked it over with you and you said, go ahead. Why, why didn't Haman just do that? And what's the answer? The answer is that you don't accuse the king of anything negative. <laughs> There's a story of Hadam, Saddam Hussein, who was standing with a bunch of his ministers on a porch, and all of a sudden, a, a group of geese, what are they called? A school, a bevy, whatever they're called. A group of geese flew overhead, and Saddam Hussein challenged his ministers that were with him. Here, take a gun, and see if he can kill any of those birds. And one shot, one of the ministers shot and missed. And the other one shot and missed. And then Saddam who said, hey kids, you give me the gun. And he shot and... I love you so much. You know what the minister said? One of the ministers said, wow, it's amazing. The geese are dead and they're still flying. <laughs> In other words, you can't challenge the king. You can't say, it's your fault, you're together with me in this. In any event, all is from the Almighty, and we had a wonderful Purim, and we, may we have salvation from all those that would like to rid us of amen. this place. Amen, amen. Kol Tuv, be well. Amen. And Chag Koshev Pesach. Amen, amen.